Hello everyone, welcome back to Blood Omen. Last time we've started to make our way through the Dark Eden, and now it's time to finally reach the source of this corruption. The Axe Flame Sword. Now as you can see, we cannot push this boulder, it hides a secret. We need another strength upgrade from a Blood Fountain. We have two strength upgrades right now, while there are a total of three in the game. <laughs> Flames the axes. The axe flame sword. Magic seethed and shifted. I watched the dome of energy as it expanded, absorbing and recreating, consuming life and leaving behind only a twisted parody. Flame the axes. <laughs> it's funny how I managed to actually make some use of the axes twister. The flame sword. Provided that the first strike is directed at a tree and that enemies are blocked off by it. I guess I could also use access by switching on the repel spell, but the problem is that I would have to have a different weapon equipped, then turn on the repel, then switch to access and use them, and it's not worth the effort. I passed through the wall unharmed. It seemed the magic only preyed on things that were alive and pure. Or perhaps it simply decided that I was twisted enough. To be honest, I'm not sure I understand how this works because we clearly see some bandits or maybe they're marauders. Or how's it pronounced? Marauder. Spiked mace. They're clearly human. I well, they're dicks, but they're human. So I'm not sure why they are not twisted by this uh, Spike the flame field of magic, flame field of dark magic. But yeah, now everything is uh, either scorched or lava, or scorched by lava. So now we're getting real. That means we are close to the source. And that is where we should go. And as I said in the last part, there are places where you have to mind control people you don't see to progress. This is one of those places, because this is essentially a large, well size-wise large puzzle, simple puzzle, that revolves around c controlling people and flicking switches, which somehow raise bridges. Again, doesn't make any sense, I have no idea how it works. Now, come think about it, it should be fairly difficult to figure out that there should be a human to mind control in a place that you cannot see. And when you cannot see the switch that you have to flick. And there's nothing indicating that there should be a bridge here. There... But somehow it's easier to guess than it should be. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure how it works. This lava, by the way, is hazardous in any form. You cannot cross it in mist form and expect to stay alive. Ugh. 
Just like everything else in the game, the switches have sometimes weird hitboxes. This will be the way to progress through the game once we are done with the source of corruption. A tower stood in the distance. From its apex spewed the vortex of energy that shaped the lands below. And we have reached the final destination. Now this pattern of uh, land is something that uh, every sane person, every sane player is always itching to explore, but reality is there is nothing here except for one or two useless artifacts. So instead I just did this to show off how the pattern looks, well what it looks like, maybe it, maybe it means something, I don't know, if you do then please let everyone know. But there's no point in uh, physically going there and uh, exploring every inch of this. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Every inch of this scorched land. So instead I just kill this and uh, enter the tower. But not before showing of the pattern again. The surface of the castle belied its interior, for it was far larger inside than out. With the powers the circle had at its disposal, it would have been simple to distort space to accommodate this strange structure. <laughs> what kind of powers would be needed to distort space? Now, let's remember what are the aspects that are tied to pillars. There's balance, nature, dimension, states... Dimension, maybe? Well, spoiler, no. There isn't... <laughs> the uh, guardian of the pillar of dimension is not here. The guardians that we will encounter are the guardians of uh, states, of energy, and... Well, in a way of conflict, we'll be finding Malak again, and of uh, nature. <clears throat> and due to the way these gardens work, energy, nature... Uh, oh my god, what's... Yeah. Energy, nature, states. It's clear how the magic works well, how it could work to warp the environment. The sorcerer's sanctuary, his laboratory. Inside was all manner of items arcane, pickled bodies, dissected corpses, both man and beast, and metal construct that heaved arcs of energy into the air. I sensed more than one force being manipulated in this place. Strange. Rarely did a sorcerer condescend to work with others. But it does not explain how <laughs> this place is made to accommodate a lot more space than it would if you look at it from the outside. Because in my uh, mind it would be something that would be done by the guardian of the, pi the pillar of dimension. But still, I will proceed in the next part, I will cut off here, thank you for watching and goodbye.